Okay, everybody. We're going to share with you. I was trying to figure out what I wanted to share, and Mike's like, you got to share this move, right? This was a series that I showed him a while back, and I kind of, not that I forgot about it, I just I guess I haven't taught it in a while. So we're going to teach it today. So let's, uh, it's basically, I like to sort of identify the, the, um, the attacks and side control between near side arm attacks and far side arm attacks. And so what we're going to do first is we're going to sit towards our partner here, okay? And when I'm doing that, this far side arm is deep underneath that shoulder, and I have to have this underhook. I'm not doing this position. Although you could do some, some really gnarly stuff from here, we're going to do it from this position. Now, very important, when I sit through, I need to make sure I get this elbow up above the hip line, okay? It's not really in super big danger right now, but it will be in a second. So what we're doing is we're gonna keep this position nice and tight. My weight is engaged on him. I'm being as heavy as I can and my chest is down. I don't wanna lean back in this position, okay? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab four fingers in the sleeve like this, okay? So I'm gonna pull up a little bit and I'll feel a little retraction. When I feel that retraction, I'm gonna turn my palm over and lock my arm out. So I'm, I've off balanced myself just a little bit here, just long enough to get this arm locked out. Now my weight pushes it down. If it stays in this angle, I just bring this leg right over top. I slide this knee in, not a figure four. I slide this knee in here so he can't stretch the arm out anymore. And very gently, I raise my, my hips and I drive this wrist down to the floor, okay? So once again, I'm here. I pull a little bit. I, get, I feel that retraction. As long as I have the elbow up above the hip line, I'm good to go. I turn my palm over. So four fingers here, I turn my palm over, straighten the arm, drive out. When I come here and I, he, he recognizes the threat here, he straightens the arm. Now I come over top, right here on the wrist. Very simple. I have this nice and tight here. I raise this leg up off the floor like this. I hold the shoulder and I bring this knee to the floor. Okay, so that's your straight arm lock. This will still work as a shoulder lock even if they turn the thumb down, right? But this is sometimes more difficult. When this happens, you'll notice when I put the pressure there, the head naturally comes up. So now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna come here with this hand, hold the shoulder, step over, nice and tight here. I'm gonna pull this in, and now I'm gonna figure four. And now we go right after the far side arm. So I've isolated all that, now we're gonna go to the far side arm attack. Let's turn this direction a little bit. Look at that again. So I'm here, I pull a little bit, I lean. I put my weight back just a bit, just so I can get my arm locked out. I push it out, he straightens it, I come here, I start to put the pressure, he turns the thumb down, head comes up. Now I'm gonna come here, grab the shoulder. I'm gonna take this top leg and step over, and I pull it in. I wanna come in here nice and tight until I can get that figure four, okay? Now both my knees are on the floor, and now I'm gonna, you okay? <laughs> it's not comfortable, I'm sure. And now we go here. I push this arm down, and now I've got my Americana, if he straightens it, I go right here to the straight arm lock, and it's gonna be very difficult for him to, to, to switch down, but if he does, I can always go for the Kimura, okay? So, yeah, how you feel? Good, solid, all right. So, give that series a try. I've got a, gotten a lot of mileage out of it. I know Mike has, right? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, give it a try, see how you like it. We'll see you soon.